Hi and welcome to Themic. In this video, we will look at different spring system configurations and learn how to calculate the equivalent spring stiffness coefficient when in presence of these apparently complex systems. At the end of the video, we expect you to have a clear understanding of the differences between series and parallel spring configurations and how to reduce these systems to an equivalent system composed of one spring and one mass. Ready? Let's do some math. Let's bring in our friend, the spring mass system. It is clear that the stiffness of the system is the one represented by the only existing spring. Pretty easy, isn't it? Now if we bring another spring and combine it to the original system, we have a couple of options on how to connect it, either in series or in parallel. Let's take a look at the first one. In series, one spring is attached to the other sequentially, allowing them to experience the same force but undergoing different deflections. If we recall from our previous video, where we talked about the stiffness coefficient, the deflection of the spring mass system subjected only to the gravity force was proportional to the gravity pull and inversely proportional to the stiffness coefficient of the spring. In magic terms, deflection delta equals m times g divided by k. Now, you can see pretty clear that the deflection of a system with springs in series is going to be equal to the deflection of the top spring plus the deflection of the spring in the bottom. If we name the top spring as the spring number 1 and the bottom spring as spring number 2, then the total deflection of the system will be delta total equals m times g divided by k1 plus m times g divided by k2. But as the main idea is to transform this complex system in an equivalent system, we could say that the total deflection delta total described in terms of an equivalent system is m times g divided by k equivalent. Now I guess you know what I'm going to do next. As the equivalent system is a representation of the system in series, we can say that m times g divided by k equivalent equals m times g divided by k1 plus m times g divided by k2. Factoring out the gravity forces and doing a little bit of rearranging, this equivalent stiffness is written as k equivalent equals k1 times k2 divided by k1 plus k2. There you have it. Let's see the other case. In parallel, each of the springs support part of the force, but both springs undergo the same deflection, that is, m times g equals f1 plus f2. If the springs deflect the same amount, then we can say that k equivalent times delta equals k1 times delta plus k2 times delta. And just one little piece of math more. In parallel systems, k equivalent equals k1 plus k2. Now you have all the information needed to say if a spring system is in series or parallel and how to determine the equivalent stiffness coefficient. I invite you to check out our written exercises where you'll find more of these interesting systems. And in case you're wondering, what if we bump into a system with a bunch of springs in series and parallel? Check out our other video. Hopefully this video helped you to understand or refresh how series and parallel spring systems are simplified to their equivalent spring system. It was fun. Thanks for watching and see you soon.